Hi everyone, Michelle, Seaside Crafter. Alright, I apologize for the last two videos because I had my camera the wrong way. But, I can't refilm it because I already started the project. So, this is where I'm at now. I have figured out what cut aparts I'm using. I cut my waterfall that I wanted to do. I'll show you how um, that all went. But, for the cut aparts, I'm using this paper pad that I had for 100 years. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorites. It's Craftsmith. I know I got it at Michael's Blush Glam. Oh, it's beautiful. So, that's where I got the cut aparts from. And I'm gonna. So, this was the thing. I was trying to figure out what to put on this little piece right here because that's what's going to show up on the front and I picked this one today today will be the day but it's too big so I'm going to trim it so I can get it just so I can get it to fit so let's just see how that's going to go gonna try to make this that doesn't really matter let me just cut this piece off that top piece because it's all right so I'm gonna cut some of this the bottom because I cut it with the trimmer and we all know how my trimmer is all right, so I know I have to cut off a lot on the sides because it's not going to fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I was think, well, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut tiny, I'm going to, I'm going to leave a sliver, a sliver of the white on this side. That's probably a little bit more than a sliver. My plan was, I was thinking if I could fit, I'm gonna, I might cut this whole thing off like that, but then just leave it so it's against that side. I don't know, we'll see. But I think I wanna cut a little bit more off of this. Because I don't want, yeah, that's good. I just want a little sliver. And because there's no way, even if I left a sliver on the right side, that that's even gonna, Day. We'll try. I'll see. I'll put a sliver and see what happens. But, and I don't mind if the top and bottom. Yeah. Okay. So see. It's going to be like that. But I'm going to cut that off and put it there. You know what? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We're just crafting. I know it's for a swap, but I can always switch it out. Something else. If I find something else. All right. Yep. So that was my plan. Today will be the day. So it's kind of like it's off the edge, which I like that. But I think I might, I might trim these a little bit more. The top and the bottom, just because, I don't know. I'll try to make it the same, but if it's a little bit more, that's okay. I just didn't want so much white. And now I'm being fussy, I know. I'm just going to cut, cut a tiny sliver. It's probably going to make a difference. Alright, that's good. So I'm going to put that there. And then that will be good because it's, you know, that's going to go there. So what I did was, because I wanted to make sure I had everything ready when I filmed this. Because I know I'm a little slow at doing stuff and I didn't want it put you guys through torture so that's gonna go there I'm just gonna glue that on now I'm gonna glue that with I need a sip of water my allergies are just going crazy right now and I decided on this waterfall I'm just gonna put I was gonna I was gonna line all the edges I mean all the papers, but I'm not going to. And I'm just going to put that one cut apart on there. 
that says stop and smell the roses. Oh, I love that paper pack. Alright, so I'm going to put this on. Big glob up there. Let's just see what happens. I don't really want any globs. Oh, now I need a wipe. Alright, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to try to put it on as best I can. If I can put it a little bit more. Because I don't want it to hang over. You know what I mean? Oh, I think that's good. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today will be the day. Now, I don't know why this is here. Now I'm going to show you what I did with the waterfall and the woman's name who the YouTube video was where I got all the instructions. Her name was Michelle Allen. And this was a design team project for Country Craft Creations. So Michelle Allen, A-L-L-E-N on YouTube. And I think this was the Love Letters configuration tag video. She didn't have a link, so I, I couldn't I couldn't um get it, but that's that's what she's doing and that's that's her name. So she gets all the credit for coming up with this. So what I did was, there's a cut apart, now I'm using magnets. I figured I was going to use magnets because it would hold it down, keep it a little bit more flat. So the magnets I'm using, I got off Amazon in their uh, basic gray magnetic discs. There's 12 in here and they, they're called the large magnets, but if you look at this, they're like an eighth of an inch thin. They're really thin. And on one side, it has a, uh, an X, which if you peel, peel this off, it has sticky. And that's where you put it down. So I had to play with that because, you know, I just had to. Okay. So what I did was, these were her, this was her dimensions for the waterfall. So this is, um, this is just pretend paper. So the sizes were, um, you cut one three and an eighth by ten and three quarters, which is this one. You cut a three and an eighth by nine and three quarters, and then a three and an eighth by eight and three quarters. So there are your three pieces. Now I'm sure there are other ways to do a waterfall. I just followed hers because she did it in the video and it seemed easy. So what you do is <clears throat> you take your paper you score it at I'm just going to do a pretend score you score one side all the scores on all of the pages of the waterfall are all scored at the same I'll show you what I mean this is the smallest one. This is three and an eighth by eight and three quarters. You're going to score it at four and one eighth. Okay. Then you just flip it and score again at four and one eighth. And there's one piece. So you do the same with the other ones. This is the nine and three quarter size. So you score one four and one eighth, then you turn it around, score it at four and one eighth, then you have that piece, and then the same with the ten and three and a quarter sides. You do four and a quarter, four and one eighth, did I say four and a quarter before? I apologize, four and one eighth, you flip it around, and you score again at four and one eighth, okay? And then you have, so you can tell you have different size spines on each of 
each of the uh, pages. So what you do is, <clears throat> no, I didn't do this because I was waiting to do this now. I had to, I had to watch the video again. <clears throat> I apologize. You know the sip. I'm just waiting for this allergy pill to kick in. So what I do is try to make room. I might have to move you. Okay. With my glue, now I'm going to glue it together. Now, if I was going to line all of these pages, so this piece of paper right here, this would hold a, a, a 4x3 photo or a 3x4 photo. So what I did was I cut my cut apart 3x4. So that's just going to go on the top one. Okay, I'll actually glue it on now because I don't want to have to glue it. Okay, so before we even do that, I'm not going to glue that now. Before we even do that, this is my, this is the biggest one. So, four and one eighth, you go down a half an inch. And I wrote this down somewhere. Where did I write this down? On that paper so you're gonna go a half an inch which is gonna be four and five eighths so that's one two three four so four and five eighths so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your other piece this is the second largest okay we're gonna glue this and we're going to line it up at four and five eighths. So you have a half an inch in between the folds. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that now. Let me just see something. I was figuring out a way because this is, um, can you see the, the it's um, not patterned, but it's um, that cardstock. So, one side has, like, straight lines, and the other side has, like, like, hat, like, a, I don't know, hatches, something. So, I was thinking, because I'm not going to line all the pages, and so the yellow's going to show, I was going to alternate, because you're going to see the top and the bottom. So, hash, hatch marks and lines, like that. So, this is the biggest one. Then... On the second biggest one this is just me because I don't know I just wanted to give a design so as you can see hatch line hatch line my smaller one is gonna be hatch so that's gonna go there so now when you see it it's in it has a little bit of a, a little bit of a design hatch line hatch line hatch line okay so that's that's just me so anyway I just wanted to make sure I was putting them down the right way so that's that one <clears throat> so now I'm gonna glue this put glue on it and then put it down to four and five eighths so it's a half an inch so it's a half an inch down from the other score line so that we have a half an inch in between the flips So four and five eighths. Hmm. Now I just forgot what I was doing. Four and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. But wouldn't that be five and a quarter? Doesn't make sense. Yep, nope. That's it. That's like half inch yeah okay so it's one dash below the half so I'm gonna glue it there and she used the scoreboard to measure it so that's why I'm using the scoreboard to measure it 
because I had never done one of these like this before. So I'm just going to do it like that. Okay. Now we have to go to five and one eighths, which is five and one eighth. Oh, yep. So five and one eighths is the next half halfway mark. And I know this has a little paper ripped on it, but that's okay. So, put my glue on that. I don't know why I even try to think of things. I should just listen to what people are doing and just do it and stop thinking because me and math. So, I'm going to go to 5 and 1 8 and that way everything is lined up and nice. Okay. Oh, nope. We are a little crooked. How are we a little crooked? Well, guess what? We're a little crooked. That is not even funny. How do we get so crooked? Guess what? Fine. That piece just seems like it's longer. All right, so that's our waterfall. Now, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to so I wanted to have oh my god. Look at all Shaquad. Come on now. Let's see if I can just do something about that. That's just ridiculous now. I don't think I can. You know, we use our glitter glue. That's not that stuff is stronger than anything. Let's see if I can just score it. Let's see if I can just score it different. Cat hair everywhere. Just to make it even. Although next time I'm going to have to remember to look at all the edges. Just to. No, nope, it is what it is. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is now. I'm going to put. Normally, if you had like a, a, you could have like a different kind of closure where you could have like a flap and you could put, you could put the, um, you could put the uh, magnet like under here and then that would just stick and then, you know, it could go like that. But because I'm going to let that flap flip up, flip up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to the lowest part over here so it's going to stick like right there that way when I put this on the magnet is actually probably going to go right in the middle because the right in the middle is like right there on the back and even though this is going to have like a little a little bump kind of I'll, I'll try to do my best to not give it a bump but that's the idea that's what I'm going with so, first thing I'm going to do is peel off this little piece of paper. And then, so it has a little sticky on it. I'm going to stick it down. I'm not sure how sticky this is. I've never used these before. But they're awesome. They're so nice and thin. So, that's sticking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is Okay, so that that's where it's going to go. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm just going to I'm going to take the glue off this this paper off Leave that like that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some glue on this. Now, let's see if 
my glue didn't dry up on me or, you know. I'm going to glue this down. Actually, let me fix this edge because the trimmer. I'm going to have to get a new trimmer. That was like a million years old, that one. And I have another one. I have a few of them. I have like a nice big guillotine one. That's the problem with this one. But I don't have the room to just keep things out. And then there's the cats. So. Alright. Now. Oh. Crud. Okay. Well. Let's put. Let's get. Oh, it's stuck. All right, well, it's sticking where it's sticking now. Let me just put some glue on this thing. Get this thing down. Ugh. And then all I have left to do with this is I have another little piece of paper on my desk. You can see it says Dream. I'm going to add that to the back of the flap that goes over the cover. And then that way we can tuck something in it. And this is going to suck it right down. The magnets are going to attract. Let's see if we can do this even. So now, this is glued on, magnets on, magnets there, now you can flip it up and have all your pages, and then when you close it, well, it's supposed to be sticking. If you're doing me like this. It's going to hold it down a little bit more. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to glue this down. Let's just get this thing done. We're already at 22 minutes. Oh, jeez. Part three. Good thing I picked out all my stuff beforehand. Imagine. All right. Now I'm just going to stick it right there. I'm just going to go down each row, stick that baby down. Right. Maybe it's just too much paper, but anyway, I think because it moved. That's fine. Okay, so now it's gonna like this. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to clip those edges, and I have a punch somewhere <clears throat> oh sorry about that and again I'm trying to be quiet because everybody's still sleeping I'm just going to do a small one quarter inch because Did it late. Just to round that off. I feel like it's sticking. It's going to stick out too much. It's, gonna, it's too pointy. Right. Okay. 
Okay. That's that. Now, I changed, well, I didn't change, but I fixed the, I fixed the ribbon. So, when you have the ribbon, we're going to close it like this. We're going to close it like that and then tie it. But right now, we're going to add this. This is a little dream. I'm going to stick that right there. Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to do those corners too, because that is just too pointy. I'm going to do all of them. Why not? It's okay if a piece of the, of the edging is cut off. That's fine. So that's going to go there. Very good. And I'm just... I don't know, should I make it a pocket or should I just make it? I think I'll make it a pocket. I'll do three sides. I wasn't gonna, but I'm gonna now. Put a little tag in there. Okay. Dream. All right, so now the only other thing I do have to do is I have to put I have to put something over here like um like a a grommet and put it like make it like a tag because it is supposed to be like a tag configuration, but I think I'm just gonna put one here. I don't know if I'm gonna put one here because then it's gonna be two. Um, she said the same thing. It's going to be like conflicting. So we're not going to do that. So let me get my papers. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some tags. And I'm going to fill. I have some. I have more cutter pots from that paper collection. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these. I'm going to put some of these in here. And I'm going to I'm going to put some of those in there, but I wanted to make I wanted to make a couple tags. So what I'm gonna do is I pull these papers. See that how pretty it's an ombre and peachy and pinky. That one I don't know if I'm gonna use all of these. And that one's white with gold 